so I can get this job and eat for my kids. Because too often we're judging a, a book by its cover when on the inside it's a heart of gold. You got to you gotta look beyond that because, baby, if you judge me, I come from the bottom. <laughs> I come from the bottom. This right here is because I had a good mother. And she was like, no matter where we at, we not our struggle. That's what kind of person I am because my mother wasn't addicted to anything. My mama, my mama barely drank, didn't smoke nothing. Like my mama was a different kind of woman. So I had that. But watch these women that I grew up with, they didn't have that. Their mama was strung out. Them babies had to raise themselves. Them babies was raising babies. They was getting dressed, making sure their kid, their brothers and sisters was getting dressed, walking them to school, then going to school and barely eating. But they making sure their brothers and sisters ate. They get to school. They try to make it to breakfast. If they miss breakfast, that's it. They're not going to eat until lunch. Them babies were struggling, starving, trying to get an education. And then you had them nasty teachers that we grew up in on our side. They were scared of black black women, black black kids. So they was barely scared to teach us. So, you know, they always send you to the principal's office and they wonder why fights are. They fighting because they don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to express their feelings. That's what I grew up in. And yeah, I fought. <laughs> All the time. I got the only thing I got suspended for was for fighting. Because I was lost and lonely and like our lights was out and we was hungry and you got the nerve to pick at me because I I ain't got no Nikes on. You got the nerve to pick at me because I got my hair in this little fan because we ain't have good hair. Like we just barely like you know what I'm saying? Like you picking at something that you don't understand. We tried to do the best that we could growing up, but you ain't from my hood, so you don't know our struggle. It wasn't the people from my hood picking on me. It wasn't the people from my hood picking on us. It was people that was up there and didn't know how it was to be down here. But unless you come from down here, you don't know how to struggle. You don't know how to get it out the mud. So when I tell you that this success for me is being real personal, it's because I crawled my way out and I'm still crawling. And I'm watching everybody in my era crawl their way out. Everybody's being successful. And I'm when I tell y'all I'm proud of y'all, like I'm real deal proud of y'all. Because we all finding God. I'm going through this. Like we all like making it. We all making a two-parent household the best we can. So that's when people are like, oh, you stand with this person. Because you don't know what that person went through. We all trying to make it in this two-parent household. You see somebody break up with their baby daddy over and over and over again trying to get it back together. It's because we trying to give our kids something that we ain't never had. We ain't never had it. So we don't know how to do it, but we trying. You know what I'm saying? And God honors you trying. And so it took me almost 11 years of that job. And I was blessed to be with some very... Hey, honey. I was blessed to be with some very spiritual women in this job because they would tell me when I wanted to break down because they didn't understand why I couldn't go to the company luncheon because I don't have the money. And it's like, well, where's your money? What you mean? I'm trying to provide a house for my children, not in the hood. I refuse to raise them in the hood. Of course, I can go get on all this stuff and, and, and go pillar the post and, and be I ain't nothing and, and sit out here and pretend like I got all this money with y'all. But no, I'm trying to be a responsible adult and parent. I ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? So don't judge me on that. But it took these women holding me down when I was screaming and crying in this office because they don't understand. And I don't know how to make them understand. Like, I ain't got it like y'all. I don't know how to make y'all say I don't know how to eat like y'all. I ain't, I, I ain't got it. And if I did have it, I wouldn't spend it on that. That's why I always bring my lunch to work. Like, you don't see me eating out like that. I cook for my kids because I'm not finna spend this money on something that is not worth it. If God bless me to know how to cook, why am I finna go spend all this money? Yeah, I could go out once or twice a month, but not like that. For what? For what? That's stupid. In my book, just because you got it don't mean you need to spend it like that. But these women, I knew it had to be nothing, but God put these women in my life. They ministered to me. They pulled me out. They was like, you not finna quit. You finna represent us. You finna be represent us. And like they saw me before I saw me. That's why when I, I say this success is like real personal, it's because I got a lot of people that I owe thank you to, that I owe success to, that I owe everything that I, I am to. 